Repairing a reversing valve. The reversing valve of this Black Gates twin steam engine is not working, so it's time to take it apart and have a look at it. This is a demonstration model of the Black Gates twin, and Black Gates Engineering have taken this around the shows and exhibitions for many years. And the problem now is, if you turn the wheel, nothing happens, the shaft will not rotate. The only way to fix this is to dismantle it. Applying physical force to the shaft itself would just break it. That's why I'm removing it from the engine. In a future video, I will be showing how to make one of these valves, and I will also explain in great detail how they work. Once I get this apart, it will give you a clue as to how they work, but for the moment, it's just witchcraft. Early on in this video, I am going to say that a reversing valve like this will not work with a slide valve engine. This one's designed to work with an oscillating cylinder engine. Now it's removed from the engine and it's sat in my Boxford lathe. So the first thing to do is to flush it out. I'm using WD-40 for this. Then I'm going to see whether I can rotate it. And the answer to that was, no, I couldn't rotate it. The small 8BA bolts just would not come out. So I used my gas blowtorch to heat up the unit. And then, these very small 8BA brass bolts came out OK. And the shaft also rotated. So it's fixed. All I need to do is bolt it back together, but then there wouldn't be a video. We've all seen these blades before and know what they are. And I'm using one of these extremely sharp blades to remove the top. Which it does very well without marking the unit. The machining tolerances on this component are very close, very close indeed. Not just on the stainless steel part, but the inside of the valve also. And the body of the valve, which is made from phosphor bronze, is machined like a cylinder. Everything needs a really good clean, starting with this part. And by looking at it, you should be able to figure out how this valve works. In common with a lot of steam engine parts, it's simple and clever at the same time. All it does is switch the inlet and exhaust around, so the inlet becomes the exhaust on one side, and the exhaust pipe on the other side becomes the inlet. So it's very important that this rotary piston is a very good fit in the bore of the small valve. In this clip, I'm removing the four bolts from the bottom cover because I need to move this cover out of the way so I can clean the centre of the part thoroughly. And now, reassembly is the reverse of disassembly, but with a lot of oil. And for this I'm using my normal lubricating oil mixture. Which, as we all know, is 50% steam oil, 25% machine oil, and 25% rapeseed oil. Or canola oil, as it's known in some countries. All I need to do now is just bolt the top cover in place. What about the gaskets? This component is so well machined it doesn't need any. Because the heads of the original 8BA bolts got a little bit chewed up whilst I was trying to unscrew them, I thought I would treat the unit to four new ones. It's out with the old and in with the new. The next part of the job was to straighten out the handwheel because this display unit's been round many exhibitions and it's obviously fallen on the floor once or twice. I tightened it back in place and fitted a nut on the top of it which I later turned down to make it look better. So all I have to do now is put it back together and see if it works. The piping looks very complicated, mainly because it is fairly complicated, and as I'm about to start a project which is building a V4 version of a Blackgates twin, using two of these engine units, I'm already thinking of how the piping runs are going to be set up. With everything back in place, and after a quick check to make sure that the unions are tight, it's time to admit some compressed air. And as you can see, the reversing valve works fine. There's definitely a bit of a blow coming from the left-hand cylinder, but despite that, the engine runs quite well. In the series How to Build a Blackgate's Twin Steam Engine, I will explain some of the techniques that I use as I put the engine together. And it's essential that when you put an oscillating cylinder engine together, the port face contact to the cylinder face contact must be perfect. And during the construction, there is a special way to do this. More about that in the series. And that's it for this video. The engine runs OK, the reversing valve reverses, and when I put pressure against the flywheel, the engine is surprisingly powerful. I look forward to constructing the V4 version. In this part of the clip, when I get hold of the cylinder and push it against the port face, the hissing stops. So there is a problem with the left-hand cylinder. And that's it for this short video. I'll leave the engine running to the end. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful.